views and opinions expressed in this program are those of the participants and do not necessarily reflect the views of BronxNet or the program underwriters. Good evening, welcome to Bronx Talk. There is an ongoing controversy in the East Bronx about a plan called the Morris Park Road Diet to narrow Morris Park Avenue and add bike lanes and turn lanes. This has not gone over very well with the local community board and other community groups who fear for business and even worse traffic. On the other hand, there are bicyclists and others who say this is progress. Regardless, the city is ready to push ahead with the plan, and this just in, there was a lawsuit filed today that stopped the work that actually was to begin today, uh, and we'll find out uh, as the week progresses uh, what happens with that. But this is a controversy that lends focus to fundamental issues on how this borough and the city ought to look as we move into the future. Please join me in welcoming to Bronx Talk, the chair of Community Board 11, Al D'Angelo. Nice to have you with us, sir. Pleasure. And from Transportation Alternatives, it's Kevin Deloya. Nice well, to have you with you. us, sir. We have both sides of the coin here. Um, so we, we've got the lawsuit, and we'll talk a little bit about that. But let's start with somebody who thinks it's a good idea. Sure. Kevin, um, you think this is a good idea? Sure, I do. Um, you know, I, I'm an advocate for uh, safety in the Bronx, whether it's cyclists. I think we all are. I don't sure, think anybody I, I, I think we all are, too. <laughs> we all drive, we all walk, we all have to get out of our cars and walk around. Um, so, you know, in this particular case, the uh, DOT came in to make a presentation that um, on Morris Park Avenue, and uh, a lot of the ideas that they have to put into this plan are good ideas, and they've worked in other areas of the city. Um, I get involved because, um, you know, if the community board is kind of fighting against a, a safety proposal, I, you know, I want to study a little bit and see if it's worth it for me to get involved. What, what is it about, and, and by the way, we're going to show you exactly what the thing is from this to, you know, like from A to B, but what is it about this that really attracts you? Okay, I mean, I'm going to say first that there are bicycle lanes here, but I'm not going to make more and, and you're an active biker? I'm an active cyclist, cyclist? in the Bronx. Okay. I, I actually rode my bike 4,000 miles in the Bronx last year. Um, that being said, I'm going to put the that bikes... That must have been a very long day. I, mean, <laughs> I know we have a big borough. Tour of the Bronx was a good part of it, you know. Okay. Um, I'm going to put that aside for a second. This is not about the bike lanes to start. This is about making Morris Park Avenue safer for the pedestrians and the vehicles that uh, have a free roam to use that wide road, you know, and speed. Um, so I, I, I would say that as a DOT comes in and wants to convert a road from four lanes to three lanes, that third lane in the center being a turn lane um, allows for an extra five feet of space between parking and the travel lane. And that's why the bike lane is there. Mm -hmm. um, certainly, it's going to block people from double parking, or they're going to feel that way. But currently, they're doing that anyway in that second travel lane. Right. Un unmarked travel lane. Um, you, community board, um, and, and other groups, uh, the, the local council member and others, uh, say it's not a good idea. Why do you think? No, first of all, I, it, I get upset when people say that uh, it's a safety issue. I live in Morris Park. My family was brought up in Morris Park, members of the community associations live in Morris Park, you think they want their children hurt? I was going to say, none of us want to so, see anybody get hurt. But the so thing is, children. with the with the bike lanes, what's going to happen with the bike lanes, the narrowing of Morris Park, first of all, our businesses are going to be hurt big time. Big Deal Supermarket gets 250 deliveries a week. Window King, which gets a delivery that takes five hours to unload his windows, uh, He's gonna. He's basically gonna go out of business. He's no, gonna, why? He's gonna because there's there. not gonna be room. Because for the there'll be there'll be a, a, um, a, a, a truck area for parking, but that will be by big deal. That's where they have the, the one loading place, dock. But not that's where so, the loading so, dock. So so he's he's three he's, he's three blocks away. No, where, where do they do it now? So now they would double park. They still so double park. Kevin's going. Uh -huh. But he's got right now. Big deal has two loading zones on both sides of the block. And you have a 18-wheeler in front of the store just about every day because he gets that many deliveries. And, and you don't think that um, and narrowing it 
L limiting the lanes, limiting double parking will make people safe. Limiting the double park, limiting the lanes is going to force more people down the side streets. Now you talk about safety. That's where children are, are less likely to pay attention because their block is safe. Because they're in their own Right, street. they're in their environment. So in the big street, you're going to be careful when you cross. Mm -hmm. On the side street, you're going to run out after the ball because, you know, that's what sure. kids we, do. We, I mean, listen, we all grew up in the Bronx. Mm -hmm. We Absolutely. know what the deal is. I do want to put up, the, this is what the DOT put out, which gives you literally the before and after. You might even be able to see it up there. So let's, uh, let's get this up there. So now we can see. Um, are we going to put it up here uh, so everybody can see it? Can we do that? There we go. Okay, so now you see on the top level uh, is what it, uh, existing, as it says, uh, where you basically have, you know, the travel lanes and the travel and parking lanes. In the bottom section, uh, the parking lane is made smaller. They fit in a bike lane. Uh, looks like the travel lane is the same length, but now you've added a, um, a, a turn lane uh, in the middle and blocked it, uh, blocked off that uh, middle section. Kevin, you want to comment on sure, that? Sure, I think that that turn bay lane is, is a big bonus for Morris Park Avenue. There's a lot of talk about there being issues possibly with emergency vehicles heading down towards the hospitals, down by East Chester Road. That center left turn lane will first of all put cars in the middle that are turning, and keep that active travel lane active. Do do they have a problem now? I mean, I'm, I've never heard of either Einstein or any or anybody else saying, "Gee, we've had a problem." With I have it on vehicles. good authority that the fire departments are opposed to this because really? it's going to cut down their response time going down Morris Park. He, he's he's not agreeing with If I with can well, interrupt, well, no, no, I should let him finish. Just say it. Talk to the fire departments, but and also the police. Again, they work for the city of New York. So it's very difficult for them to go against their boss. Well, I but yes, you talk I, you talk to the the police officers, which is why they didn't say it out loud right. and they hold, told you. But what's your reaction? So then? that's correct. I've been at meetings with Al that I've heard some police officers and some fire department personnel stand up and say that they're against that particular plan for reasons of them being firemen, and I understand that. But this plan would not be at the point it is today if the DOT hadn't gotten approval from the fire department in the first place. So I assume for the moment that the fire department agrees that 11 feet is all you need to have uh, emergency vehicles travel down that lane. You know, we've had... If there's uh, no other cars there. Correct. But allowing a travel lane and a left turn lane, those cars in the left turn lane will eventually get out of the way because they're turning for that lane to open uh, up. Aside from, you know, which is preferred, on just a basic level, and, and both of you can weigh in on this, and I've sat in this seat for many, many years, and there have been many plans that communities have said we don't like, and the two that jump right out at me, the filtration plant, which is up not too far from where we are at Lehman College, and also the Yankee Stadium plan. In the Yankee Stadium plan, uh, there were community board and other people said, you know, this is not a good plan, it's hurting, we're going to lose park space, et cetera, et cetera. They built it anyway. In the, uh, for the water filtration plan, uh, the same thing happened at that time in the Bronx. There was a very big split in the politics, so it legislatively went through. In this case, the DOT is saying, we heard Al D'Angelo, we heard all the people who are complaining about it, we're going to build it anyway. Yeah. What's that say uh, for so, our... So start that? with that, and then I'll let you... What's that say for our that? democracy? Well, it, uh, it the, is a, that's why I raise it. It's a question. The first... I'm always thinking about the The first meeting we had in February, Novato came over, and he put forth the program and had questions and answers. At that meeting, one person was... Novato is uh, Novato, Novato Lopez, Lopez, who's the DO, no, Bronx two. DOT commissioner. One person was... Everybody was opposed to it except one. Mm -hmm. At that meeting, the, although... The associations had their meetings, mm -hmm. everyone, but it, you're not, almost unanimously. I would say not unanimously because I know one person in our association is constantly voting it, you know, voting in favor, it which is it. right. It's entitled to do but so. But all but one. The community board also had a meeting. All but one. One abstained unanimously opposed to it. So now everyone is opposed to it. These people live in the community. Don't you think our safety is primary importance to us? But also we have a business community. Every elected official I know says they're going to help small business. Everybody's for small business. And then they're going to turn around and hurt small business. Although um, I, I don't know that other elected officials have supported the local officials. No, all our, lo all our local, well, I don't know about our new, uh, our new elected officials. Uh, I don't know about State Acosta. Senator, right. uh, Alessandro Biagio. Right. Alessandro Biagio will go Kevin, with the crowd. Um, it, which is just a, you know, kind of a hypothetical question. Let's say this never came up. Would you or others have said, you know what, maybe we ought to have a plan like this because we need to add bike lanes and this is um, a safety? Would, well, would you have well, said that? Yeah, but again, you know, although I tell you I travel through the Bronx on my bike a lot, I, I kind of say that secondary. I, I, I look that I might drive my bike down there a lot or, or shop and I got my dentist on that block. 
Um, I live near. We all stop on Morris Park Avenue for at one, no matter where you are, at one time or another. It's a place, I, I, place to be. I, well, not necessarily, but I do stop there. I live <laughs> closer to uh, to Tremont Avenue, you know, right. another road diet area, if you would so to say. But uh, sure, I, I would find if I find from word of mouth or otherwise that this road is not safe, I'd kind of pay attention to what might be going on around there, and I, I would almost find out in advance if the DOT has done any kind of proposals for that But area. the DOT took us off the endangered species list, Well, so that, was, that was another thing I, I will bring sure. up. And we actually have a, a, some, some pictures of that out of the Vision Zero plan, right. that it was allegedly Morris Park originally was listed as a danger spot, but then over the last whatever it was, the but Gary, just, six just months, we can, we can put that up just so people can see But just to bring out. It was delisted and not um, uh, considered right. As, as much of a hazard Any time there's a problem or an accident, we're the ones fighting to get lights, speed bumps. It's the community people, community organizations that are doing this. Downtown doesn't come up and say, oh, let's see, there was an accident there, let's put a light there. If we don't fight for it, we're not going to get it. So safety is a primary concern mm -hmm. of Morris the, Park. Um, by the way, that, that hole right in the middle is, is the area that was actually uh, delisted and showed that that section of the Bronx did. So yeah. that's kind of See, ironic. Yeah. Well, well, let me ask you this. But you can't are litigate, there, you can't litigate there, stupid. I mean, you know, sometimes people <laughs> do things that, that, you know. Are there safety um, uh, issues that if this never came up that you would have said, yeah, you know absolutely. what, we've got it, and what would those I have brought been? this up before the road dieting went in. Nobody paid attention. When the road well, dieting, finally listening. When the road dieting went in and they asked for alternatives, I gave them alternatives. I Such said, as? Right now, you can go from Williams Ridge Road to Bronxdale Avenue if you do about 45 miles an hour and not hit a light. So the first thing you would try to do is... To slow traffic. Stagger the lights. Stagger say, the I would lights. I narrow the lanes. Well, why not okay. stagger the so lights now first? If you narrow the lanes, if you narrow the lanes, aren't you going to back up traffic? Absolutely. Somewhere? How could that be? you got a car moving 45 miles in this direction... Well, because because there well, are there, fewer lanes. Are there two I mean, cars traveling 45 miles in that direction? No, there's only one. Traveling. So if you narrow the lanes, you think it makes them slow down? You're not really narrowing the lane. You're eliminating one. Eliminating and keep, keeping lane. one flowing, so that that flowing lane. If you want to make a left turn, you pull out of that flowing lane. You pull out of the uh, the roadway, the, Let, the travel just, lane. Excuse me. Let's just say. If you want to make a right, you're pulling out of that lane. So that lane should keep going. Let's, and anybody doing 45. Well, well no, nobody wants that on it. Sorry. That's, any of our streets. That's, where, that's how you have your accidents. Yes. We, so, we, we've so suggested, we suggested two, it. We suggested two things. We suggested staggering the lights. We suggested speed cameras and that the law, 25 mile an hour speed limit, is enforced. If you check to see how many tickets were given out for speeding on Morris Park, I'm sure you'll find maybe two. What, what that was an accident. So as the, the delist, delisting has to do with uh, KSI, killed and seriously injured. And those numbers went down between the five years that they initially use the data to create this road diet and the last five years that they did to delist this right. event. But that does not include speeding and other infractions on that roadway. It only includes uh, the stat. Uh, of you're saying that event. one stat. So Correct. you could have it's had the most important or... stat. It is the most but important stat. But you don't stat. litigate safety. What you do is you educate for safety. I agree. I Education mean, if you were going to litigate safety, then you'd slow the throughway down to 10 miles an hour. There'd be no accidents on the throughway. I mean, that's a ridiculous argument. 65 to 55, I get it. Um, uh, l let me ask you this. Um, are, are there si other cyclists who say, you know what, finally I'll be able there to There are no traverse. cyclists on Mars well, Park. Take a look. Him. It's him and two others. <laughs> <laughs> we know that I belong to a few networks of cyclists. How many bikes, you know? do, you How many bikes do you see on Mars Park? Tell uh, the truth. Well, the I, delivery see, people. I see quite That's a few. It. Unfortunately, I saw a few today. Yes, one 10-year-old one kid was on the sidewalk. I allowed that. Are, are you, Kevin, uh, sympathetic to the store owners? Now, let's just say... Um, sometimes maybe I, I want to run in for a cup of coffee somewhere. There are wonderful bakeries and everything else at Morris Park Avenue. Yeah, double park. So I come out and maybe I'll double park. Maybe I'll find a space. Um, my experience with um, these road diets, let's say in Manhattan, is there are fewer spaces on the block because they cut off the ends of the block. for. So now you're going to have fewer spaces. Do the businesses get hurt because people can't jump in and do that? I'll start by saying that I start my car every day, so I am a commuter uh, in many, many fashions. And, uh, you know, I, I feel for anybody who may feel like they might lose some business. Cycling yeah. does <laughs> increase some business in some areas where they put in bike lanes. In this particular case here, you know, I don't double park. It's on my mind at all times. That's like education. So, um, you know, if somebody double parks and I drive by on my bike and he's only there for a minute, guess what? That's the minute I needed him not to be there. And he also had to get out of his car and walk around. Big deal supermarket. When they, were, when they were digging up in front of the store to put in the, uh, the, the sewerage, 
for I think it was 15 days, he lost 15% of his business. 15% mm -hmm. of his business. So what For a small business and, and a, a, a local absolutely. farm uh, so, grocery. That's so what so does he, what does he do? He's going to have to part. lay people off. So, the, so you're, you're asking the question, the, the issue is the parking. It's, it's, it's parking, number one. It's safety, number two. I'm concerned about our side streets. I'm concerned that people are going to go down the side streets and start using those side streets, which, which they're doing now when there's a bottleneck in Morris Park. There's a lot of traffic on Morris Park. Remember, we have businesses on both sides of the streets. We have bodegas that need deliveries. They need fresh stuff every day. We have a butcher that needs fresh meat every day. We have grocery stores that need deliveries every day. And so in, in this new framework, there would be a place, but it might not be in front of that store. Yep. So whoever is going to do that delivery would have to be in that area and then, you know, take a, Gary, a dolly for, or something. For, exa for example, is, that, is that how it works? Yes, but for example, the, work? the loading zone uh, for window cane, for example, it takes them five, three to five hours to unload their truck. So now I'm going to deliver to the supermarket. What do I do? Wait three hours for the other truck to get out of there before I pull in? Or do we put in another loading zone and take away another your, five your, spaces? Your response I'm, I'm, a, I'm agreeing with that. There is, fortunately, they, they included some loading zones, right? So you think that's a big bonus, but certainly there's a lot more businesses on the block that would need some, somehow to get their deliveries. The, the, um, I'm just kind of playing moderator here. So some of the things that Al talked job. about, <laughs> um, um, speed cameras, um, maybe speed bumps, um, more red lights. Would that satisfy you? Yeah. Or would you I, say, I, uh, you know what, if they did that instead of this plan, I might uh, support I, I, that? I've uh, had conversations with uh, the DOT commissioner myself, but I'm not at the level of Al where he's probably gone ahead and walked down the block many, many times with uh, the commissioner and made these suggestions True live. or not true? Yes. Okay. So I don't have that opportunity. So. Oh, I, I bet you could get I, it. Come on. I, I don't have the <laughs> I'll exact take a corners. <laughs> I don't know in this plan exactly which corners he's going to put uh, an LPI, uh, a leading pedestrian interval. I don't know what corners he's going to put enhanced crosswalks in. I don't know on which corners that he, he's going to put speed camera lights in. But Al might. That's not the point. Um, any of those things would enhance it. I would be happy with. But I don't know what's in the plan. It's all suggested along this length. I right. will say that the road is pretty straight. It does have two bends on it, this whole mile and a Right, quarter. but it is pretty... It um, makes pretty much sense to just... Doesn't you know, it do make it sense to, to try to make everyone happy, the businesses? The only ones that may suffer a little bit are the bikers. But you're talking about now the businesses are, are, are happy. Well, you could still we, have we a, got a, almost, short, a, a smaller bike lane we without, have almost without two, um, eliminating, uh, you know, without lane. building the whole thing. We have almost 2,000 signatures from people that live in the community. These are pe pedestrians. These are people that live there across right. those streets. They don't want the dieting there because they're concerned about their side streets and they're concerned about the safety on the, on the, uh, I, on the I'll, streets. I'll ask both of you this question. Al, you can start. Um, uh, What's your experience? Let's say it was done on Broadway in the Bronx. Uh, it's been done on Eighth uh, Avenue and Ninth Avenue and a number of places. Yeah, Allerton Avenue, Second Avenue in the city. I, I, I'm just thinking about. Where I can I've only seen speak it. from what you know the people I've spoken to. Allerton Avenue. It's on it Allerton. Is, I, I didn't know. I haven't been over. Is there. not happy with it. Tremont Avenue. Certain areas of Tremont. Where East Tremont. Where the uh, where that cemetery is. It's not a problem because that whole side of the street is for parking. It's well, not. The but you come down <laughs> closer to the square, that becomes a problem. Washington Heights. Have you traveled to Washington Heights lately? I have lately? not. Take a ride and see what road drive is in Washington Heights. And what, what happens Heights. there? What is the problem? There's there? a million stores on Washington. They, you can't. You can't move. There's so a you truck can't double go park, if you want to go into stuck. A um, and what's your experience with it? So, so you do drive again, cars. I, uh, you know, I, I, I was involved when they were looking to install those bike lanes on Broadway, and it wasn't so much about Broadway's bike lanes. It was more about the uh, the safety in the 242nd Street subway area. You know, right. and, and Putting bike lanes against the park was pretty uh, easy. Watching tonight, you know, the, the heights because that's um, a very crowded. Tremont uh, Avenue. I feel like that's my responsibility. That was initiated for some things that I did that we could talk about later. But there's no bike lanes. We can talk there. about it. There's no bike lanes on Tremont Avenue. All they did was narrow the road from four to three to make it safer and cause can hopefully see the lines and stay within the lines. You know, but I, it's a big quarter of a mile. We, we've got um, the bike lanes that were carved out like next to Pelham Parkway. I think I, yeah. I've ridden them and they're very effective. I've okay. taken the ride out to City Island and they yeah. work out very well. Um, are there sufficient bike lanes in the in the borough of the Bronx? There's I mean, not. this is the borough of Parks. And all that? They, they didn't stall uh, up to... So if you want to go, uh, let's say, go all the way out to the end of uh, Tremont Avenue, for example. Let me say something to, on that note. YMCA. By Morris Park Avenue having a bike lane from end to end, you're now going to connect the Bronx and their bikeways and their greenways. Mm. You're going to connect Castle Hill from the YMCA at Clawson's Point all the way north up to Tremont Avenue. Bronxdale Avenue is going to be getting a similar road diet with a bike lane. It's going to hit right past Morris Park. 
and that's going to go up to the Bronx River. Take the Bronx River north, you can go up to Westchester. And he could that, visit, he that could visit all the people that left the Bronx and move up to Westchester because they can't. Well, we hope that's not the case. And like I'll, what you I'll said, uh, Gary, it, it connects to Pelham Parkway, which you can go east or west right. all the way. Al, let's talk a little bit about um, the um, uh, the lawsuit. Uh, so this lawsuit was filed by the uh, the association. Because I haven't had a chance to see it. I mean, it was just filed. The community, today. basically, it was the community. Was it the so community board? No, the okay, community, is, the community associations. You know, uh, you know, Mark John. I, and I got to thank Mark because he's taken the he's taken the brunt of the heat for this, and he's he's done a yeoman job. Mm -hmm. But uh, you know, no, it was the associate local and association. And the lawsuit was to get him to stop. And what was the basis on which uh, the suit was filed? The businesses, first of all, and and safety issues. We're, mm -hmm. we're concerned about the safety on our side streets. It's going it's, it's going to be a problem. The response time for fire and police are going to be cut down. Uh, it's it's it's. If you travel Morris Park mm -hmm. and you want, you mentioned your cup of coffee. You, you try, <laughs> okay. you try to get a coffee. Uh, find a parking space to get a cup of coffee. You mean talking about even now? Right. So a legal parking space. Well, you, of you, you, what, yeah. they, what people a do. A lot of people do is they double park and. We out. we asked. We wanted angle parking. We wanted to take a flag away from each side and put in. So uh, in other words, if parking. you made the lane smaller and made angle parking, you'd obviously get more parking space. Absolutely. Better, uh, could better you still business. have a bike lane in that situation that would make the Don't street? Don't know. That's, that's, that's above my pay raise. I understand. <laughs> to Angle Park, you need a certain amount of distance to get out, so there would be no bike lanes there. Right. So but, but you probably still would be able to get one lane in each direction and maybe even that turn lane. But the DOT turned that down because you can't have the angle out parking on both sides with the amount of space they have between it. Although you could do we, it on one another side. Another good idea. We, we also yeah, told them one side. We, we've tried everything. I hate backing into those spaces. <laughs> I know. i got to tell you. I do it on well, Westchester Square all the we've, time. So we've tried, the all, we've done, all we've done was ask for, try the alternative. Why spend the money if you try the alternative and it works, you saved yourself a ton of money. Someone once said to me, follow the money. And I say, you know, a lot of money went into this road dieting. Well, I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to interject that, and I have said this privately to many people. I'd love to know really who got the contract. For me too. These, because... Um, you know, you know that, that that's who really um, is going to benefit directly from this. I mean, maybe there's you know other there are other benefits for it. I got that's a, always been a question. I got a I real know. good surprise the other day. I when when uh, when the mayor De Blasio was the public advocate, he came up to Morris Park and he helped us with a few few things that he was working with, and I, he had given me his phone number. So when this happened, I called the number. Did you really? I assumed that it was. Hello, uh, Bill. <laughs> I saw. I it's assumed now. it was disconnected. It was his voicemail. Good. I left him a message. He called me back three days later. Isn't that wonderful? And we spoke. I, I spoke about the road. How dying. long ago was that? Uh, maybe three days ago. This is a great anecdote. Wow. Oh, I was. I was shocked. And he said, you know, he said this is, you know, he's committed to this. He said, but he will. Re he will re revisit Morris Park. So hopefully he will revisit Morris Park. Now, will he concerns. do it before they start the work? Well, hopefully he will. Knows. You know, he said he would do it. We also talked about a, a trolley going up and down Morris Park, which well, he liked very much. That, like that, that brings idea. up another thing, and that's this Metro North um, a stop sure. that's going to be yep. in, in Morris Park. Um, as I understand, they're doing a study, which, of course, would be totally logical, that they would do a study and uh, then uh, make some evaluation. Make sense to wait till the study is done. Uh, you, you Gary, think? when I saw the study, which was done a while ago, the road dieting was already in the study. This is before. There, this so is before anybody came to us. The, Kevin, you the study to also has pictures of ten-story office buildings where there's currently auto body parts and right. and a Starbucks. Well, uh, you know, so maybe so you're getting a clue. Yeah. Listen, <laughs> that, it's Metro not like North. that never has happened yeah. or will won't happen in the Bronx. We know other places that it does happen. Metro yeah. North. Uh, at the other end of Morris Park Avenue is certainly going to create, hopefully, you know, more people oh. using that Metro North station. That's why we want it there, the alternate transportation to get to the city. But there's absolutely no parking included in that, no matter what study you've been to or will go to with Metro North. Gary, you have or a, city planning. You have five schools. You have a precinct. You have two major hospitals in the area. You have fire departments in the well, area. But if all you can slow people Morris down around the, around the schools and around the hospitals, I, I think we all agree. I absolutely we agree. Absolutely agree. Absolutely. But do it Speed easy. Speed cameras work, and you know, and initially you're going to make a lot of money, but then people are going to realize they're there, they're going to make less I, money. Just stick the lights. It's that simple. I, I It'll got, slow the traffic. I got a you question. Do you have any data to show that that would actually work, though? Well, let's try it. we got nothing I, to lose. Why I, spend a million dollars when I you can do it for... I think that would be uh, very dangerous. You do Believe think it, it would that. be dangerous? I don't know. Uh, I finally say change the lights so everybody can go 22 miles an hour. I do that on 2nd Avenue in Manhattan. You go 22, That's right. you can flow. For yeah. two, three miles even, but on Morris Park, with people wanting to stand in the middle of the street or the double parking. Uh, I, I got to ask a question that really has nothing to do with this, but as somebody who does drive in that area sometimes, 
what is going on around the Albert Einstein College of Medicine? Because that that no. is it's, it's been from it's I can't even think of how it's long. It's probably going to be years? two more years. I think two more years. Yeah, that's what I heard. Because if so, then the people are going to be sitting in traffic that mm. long. I have been in that traffic, and I'm saying this has got to be the stupidest thing mm. I've ever seen. And they're not working and there because they're waiting for everything else to tie into it before they can finish uh, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they, All right, well, we've got just a couple of minutes left. We'll give you each a chance to um, have a statement. So, Kevin, um, what, what's your message either to the public or to the DOT or to anybody about what, what this is about? And you know what the hey, issues I, I, are. I do drive my bike. I'm going to say that to start. And I drive it down Morris Park Avenue, and I tell you how many miles I drove on my bike last year. And I did Morris Park Avenue over 50 times, maybe sometimes well, did you feel out of endangered? my way. Did you feel Ab endangered? Absolutely. And, and yeah. my, my point would be that the cars that are double parked, I want to let them know that I'm coming up behind them. And, and that would be the enforcement piece of what we need here. Mm -hmm. Education is the other one. Do, do you find that, again, going back to my prior question, you find that whether you're on Broadway near Van Cortlandt Park or you're on Ninth Avenue in Manhattan, that it's better and easier for a bicyclist? Um, well, bicyclists are different, and I would say that having a bike lane is, is nice. This is not a protected bike lane, so this is really not doing me any justice for safety, except somebody opens the door, what happens? Somebody yeah. well, the well, door listen, is not even we, the point. It's more of a car. We know that people get doors. If, if the yeah. DLT I, really I wanted give to do this chance. right, they would put the bike lane against the curb and the parking in the middle. That would be a protected bike lane. Fascinating. Up not one more inch of space than what you saw on that map. Fascinating. Um, Al, uh, you get the final word here. What do you think? First of all, one of the things I'm really concerned about is the fact that we still live in a democracy the last time I looked. If everybody is against it, if, if I, and I can say 90% of the people in that community, businesses and, and the uh, people uh, that live there, are against it, uh, and, and still we're going to go through with it. That's number one. Number two, I am concerned about safety. I'm concerned about safety on the side streets. I'm concerned about safety with our police and fire coming down Morris Park. If there's a tie-up and someone dies because that ambulance couldn't get there in time, or somebody dies in a fire because that fire, uh, it'll now be, who takes the heat? It'll, it'll now, be where a is that story. Where is that, that yeah, where's that statistic Listen, on the show? Gentlemen, um, you don't have to agree, but you have uh, really um, illustrated the best example of our democracy Thank and of our borough of the Bronx you. because uh, this is how we do it. We get, on, we, we get on Bronx Talk, on BronxNet television, we figure it out. Uh, gentlemen, Al D'Angelo and uh, Kevin Deloya, thank, thank you, you so much. much. We'll find out what happens. Absolutely. Thank you. Folks, if you Very have further pleasure. questions or comments on anything you heard on tonight's show or anything going on in the Bronx, email them to us at bronxtalk at bronxnet.org. You can tweet us at Bronx Talk, post them on our Facebook page, and uh, we'll try to get you a response, even if it's for them or you need some information, we'll take care of you. Thanks to our producer, Helen Greenberg, our directors are William Guzman and Nick Marrero. Next week, we're going to talk partially near that area. We're going to talk about City Island next week. Right. Good night. Thank you.